All right, Brian, great to see you. Thanks for being with us tonight on Sports Sunday to break this down. Uh, there's been a lot going on the past few weeks. Give us the latest now on the legal developments that have come out in the last uh, 10 days or so. Gee, Randy Mack, where do I begin? You've had a couple of front page stories on the sports section in the New York Times talking about Deshaun and his 66 different massages. You've had Rusty Harden go on Sports Talk Radio and make comments that ultimately found themselves into the 24th of 24 lawsuits. You've had the Texans being added as a defendant and then most recently an HBO piece on real sports that created a tremendous amount of buzz in this town. All right, Liz, I want to ask you about the HBO situation that came out. That made a lot of news. Tell me why from a legal standpoint and PR standpoint. Well, uh, from the legal standpoint, I think that Deshaun Watson had an opportunity to make a bad situation somewhat better. The last question that Soledad O'Brien asked one of his lawyers was, does Deshaun have any regrets at all? Folks, she teed it up. That's the 200 points on the SAT for spelling your name right. Of course I had regrets. I had regrets about perhaps making women feel uncomfortable, about no longer wearing a Texans uni, and the fact that my reputation is now a cocktail party joke. And in response, his lawyer said, absolutely no regrets. I think that was a lost opportunity. I also think the fact that his lawyer did what we teach lawyers to do in dealing with the media if they don't like what's being said, it changed the conversation. She changed it to Busby, and I think that's never ultimately going to be a winning tack. All right, I want to ask you, uh, because it came out recently as well in recent days, the Texans now are listed as a defendant now in this case. Tell us what that means. Wow. Randy Mack, this has the potential once this lawsuit drops to get ugly in a hurry during the discovery process. You're going to see and hear words like enabled, colluded, mm -hmm. facilitated. But at the end of the day, unless the Texans knew or should have known that Deshaun Watson would engage in this serial pattern of misconduct, they will ultimately prevail. But there's an old saying, you can beat the rap but you can't beat the ride. The Texans may find that out the hard way. You, you've got training camp coming up, uh, Brian, here at the end of July for, for all football teams. Do things get any better in your estimation for DW4? Randy Mack, it, it, it's really hard to see how. You know, LBJ, the great president that he was once said that in Vietnam, he felt like a hitchhiker caught in a West Texas hailstorm. He couldn't run, he couldn't hide, and he couldn't make it stop. That's what Deshaun faces. As it is right now, we may see additional lawsuits. We're going to see more discovery in the two most recent lawsuits. And know this, with the NFL getting ready to drop the hammer, this tsunami of bad publicity certainly could not have come at a worse time. I think if H-Town wants to see Deshaun Watson in action, they may have to binge watch reruns on Sports Sunday, Randy Mack. <laughs> hey, well, last question I want to ask you. The... Uh, chatter between the two main attorneys here. We're talking about Rusty Harden and Tony Busby. It's getting a little chippy at times. Is that expected? What do you take and make from that? Well, look, I, I think we've got the battle of the legal titans here. We've said that very early on. But Tony Busby is winning the battle in the court of public opinion. I'm a huge Rusty Harden fan. I've known him since the Carter administration. What he did on the radio last week or the week before violated two rules in my book. Number one, the Hippocratic Oath. First, do no harm. Secondly, if you're explaining, you're losing. Tony Busby is somebody who has undergone a crash course in educating H-Town on the narrative that he wants to put forth. And in the court of public opinion in the 21st century and the 24-hour meter cycle, that's almost as important as winning in a court of law. Randy Mack. All right, Brian Weiss, KPRC2 legal analyst. Brian, as always, thanks for the insight. We'll keep an eye on it in the weeks and months ahead. Appreciate it.